Marco is one of the best notification demons for Valent and today I'm going to show you how to install and customize it. So first of all, installing Marco is quite simple. You just get it with your package manager. If your package manager does not support it, then you can simply go to the GitHub and follow the build instructions in here. Now once you've installed Marco, let's jump into the main topic which is configuring. Configuring Marco is actually very simple and I'm going to show you how you can quickly do it. So first of all, you need to make a directory called .config for slash Marco. This is the Marco configuration directory. And then you can open up the config in whatever texture you use. In this case, it's Emacs for me. Now we can simply open up that file which is in .config for slash Marco. And the config file is called just regular config. And in the config file, we can specify some stuff like the font. And all you need to know is the way you specify stuff is like this. You just do t equals value. So that's the format that the macro configuration uses. So then we can just set some stuff like font equals and then whatever font you want and the size. And we have stuff like the sort equals time. This is going to sort our notifications based on the newest ones and the oldest ones and you need to set layer equals overlay we can set the anger to change the position of Marco so I've set it to top left which will appear here top right will appear here if you do bottom left then that's gonna appear here and bottom right is gonna appear here and the background dash color is obviously gonna set the background color in the hex code so you can simply get the hex code for whatever color scheme you use. Then we can set some stuff like the width. So let's say I want to increase this to 350. I can simply do that. And the margin is the space between Marco and the edge of your screen. The padding is the space inside of the notification. So basically how spaced out everything is. And the border size is obviously the size of the border. You can set a border color and a border radius, which is like the corner rounding or roundedness. Icons equals one enables icons. So if I send a notification real quick with the command notify send with an icon of Emacs, it's just gonna say hi. Then we can see that it shows the Emacs icon. So that's what this config line does. And we set the maximum icon size as well as some timeout settings. So if you want a timeout, you can simply set this. This is configured in milliseconds. So 5000 would basically mean 5 seconds. And the way you reload your configuration with Marco is with Marco CTO. If you type Marco CTO reload, it's going to reload your configuration. And we can simply notify send something. And it's going to show that. So as you can see, I just increased my width and you can see the change in there. So that's pretty much it for the macro configuration. I hope you enjoyed this video and bye bye.